Everybody knows the most powerful person in Bihar was Buddha. Buddha traveled the length and breadth of the country and he created a waves which shook the whole world, stabilized several several cultures, several several communities into a beautiful item the beautiful ornament and that reflects in most of the south asian powerful rich countries and another one thunder which shook the whole of india's elite political wing and even threw out the government into the streets for the first time in the history of the country something was declared emergency was declared just because of this thunder and that thunder came from nobody else it came from lok nayak jay prakash narain popularly known as jp who threw the congress party in 1970s seven put morarji desha into the seat jayprakash narayan ji was like a god then lokna jayprakash narayan ji this is the second quote i am talking about said true politics is about promotion of human happiness yes when somebody asked the king of bhutan gdp of your country he said our country we calculate the gdp according to the gross national happiness of the people no but in the whole world no economist or nobel prize economist or the tallest person ever good at such an in the gross national happiness is the first important thing of the country and i am putting that into proper order happiness can you believe nobody thought everybody thought multiplication multiplication of money gives you happiness big mansions make gives you have the happiness of the people what is happiness of the people a king sitting there or the head of the family sitting there and protecting them fiercely to stabilize the culture the samskruti and making everybody in the family practice that samskruti and what is the samskruti it is there for millions of years which is 90000 years is not a small joke from the rigveda time the yogas the pranayama and you practice that you f- not because you get hence but because the i can see two and a half kilometers if you practice chakruki korin martial arts says you can hear two and a half kilometers you can smell two and a half kilometers that stretching was very very important which you get it in the physical body when you get the total body stretched and you can push and turn in any direction your physical body through the means of yoga you can stretch your mind and twist and turn then you don't fear about science or maths or philosophy because everything includes in that you don't have to worry whether it turns to the left or the right true politics is about promotion of human happiness nothing more than that if people are involved the politicians come to your doorstep but people when they are not involved then you go to the politician doorstep when you go to his doorstep then he, he thinks he is a king he misuses you when you participate and what is your participation your participation in the family with sister get each get priest get goes to when you sit bomb to bomb with your wife and your children you take bath together talk in one voice 
you get the connecting link to your joint family which is your neighbors next door road rain waters hot season everything you come to know and you connect your powerful family loving family to the next door next door next door and in that area a community has been created which all politicians fear they'll come there only to make sure that your happiness blooms more better because you have already created every day one something new in your locality and in 365 days when 365 varieties of new new things are growing in your community then happiness is already there that is the real politics you are thinking politicians are bad you have disconnected your your family without sitting bum to bum true politics is about promotion of human happiness that should be your human happiness the whole community going to the laughter club yes having a whatsapp group where you all go and laugh together you all do surams together and before and after before and after our shastra which even the japanese and other countries practice before you start anything you do your meditation anything you do your meditation means not sitting in closed eyes here when you go to the park your meditation is karma yoga you carry your broom you carry your spade you carry your knife your cutter even possible a paint brush with a little paint and whichever part you are going you clean all together you clean you paint and then you start your laughter class you start your karate class you start your yoga you start your pranayama you start your jnana you start your philosophy whatever it is for 10 minutes to 15 minutes all together one voice in that community that is the happiness and once you do that you can see you will not allow any road to be dirty you do not wait for the corporation people or the your local uh, ml or mp to come forward to clean up the place once you allow them to come and clean up your place what happens in rakam school is with the swami rakam you will sit in front of the dining hall where all the students are seated and he announces do not spill anything outside your plate if you spill anything outside your plate please put it back into your plate because today if you know how to spill anything outside your plate tomorrow money can spill outside your pocket and that is the poetry of the life cleaning members are coming to polish your floor not to take your waste and if you allow the cleaning members to take your waste they'll understand your weakness they will destroy you i am asking the community if you throw your things outside and you ask the corporation bpm you ask the ml and mps complain to them telling please send your people to clean repair they understand the weakness they will destroy you. they have destroyed you. the media made you they made you nobody you are a slave come out of that slavery participate you can see the beauty of what you are the happiness which is growing up cleaning up the road the switch to get that then you will not complain you will only participate log nay jay prakash narayan ji is true politics about promotion of human happiness promote